Hello and welcome to another episode. Today I'll be showing you how to make my 100% plant-based mac and cheese. This recipe is also 100% alkaline vegan. Let's get started. We're going to start by peeling and cutting this entire butternut squash. If you don't know how to do it, check out the link above. So, if you've noticed, I'm not a big fan of making cheese replacements. That's because most of the cheese replacements out there require you to use some questionable ingredients. So if I'm not myself today, that's because I'm out of my comfort zone. Again, I would like to stress that this recipe is for alkaline vegans and for people with conditions that don't allow them to eat certain things like nutritional yeast. Anyway, when you cut the head of your butternut squash open, you would find some seeds. These seeds are edible provided you roast them. Click on the link above to learn how to roast them. Cut a whole onion into quarters, then add everything to your baking pan. Pour some grapeseed oil over your butternut squash and your onions and bake for about one hour. This is an okra or okra pod and we're going to be making a gel out of this which we'll be adding to the cheese sauce. You can split your okra in half lengthwise or you can cut it into large pieces just like I'm doing. Get rid of the stalks and set your okra to the side for now. Note that you need about 10 to 15 pieces of okra but this is all I had in my kitchen. Bring some water to a boil. Add your fresh okra pieces and let them cook for about 10 to 15 minutes uncovered. You should get a slimy gel just like this in about 10 to 15 minutes as long as you don't cover the pot. So I'm gonna strain the okra and set the gel aside while I check on the butternut squash. Yup, it's ready. Now we're gonna add the roasted butternut squash and onions to a blender along with some other ingredients and blitz it up. These are called Brazil nuts and they've been soaking for about 8 hours. Add some soaked Brazil nuts to the blender along with half a cup of okra gel. Blend on high for about 1 minute. Add some raw tahini to the mix. For those who don't know, raw tahini is just raw sesame seed paste. Blend again while adding about a quarter cup of water. We can set this aside for now. It's time to cook our pasta. I was unable to find a good alkaline vegan elbow pasta, so I'll be using sparrows today. Bring a pot of water to a boil. Add one teaspoon of sea salt. Add four to five cups of Kamut Sparrow Pasta. Let it cook for about six to seven minutes. Drain your pasta and set it aside. I'll add a link to this pasta in the description box below. Add a quarter cup of annatto oil to a pot on medium high heat. Add your butternut squash mix and give it a good stir. After 5 minutes, add 1 cup of okra gel and mix thoroughly. Add some sea salt to taste. 
add about two to three tablespoons of onion powder. So we're gonna be adding some quinoa flour. And if you don't have quinoa flour, this is the easiest way I know how to make it. Just add your quinoa to a high powered blender and blitz it up. Now that you're a pro, add half a cup of quinoa flour. Give it a good mix and add some water to adjust the consistency. This is highly optional, but you can add some key lime juice to lift the flavor. Let it cook for 10 minutes at medium low. Oh, by the way, during the recipe testing phase from last week, yeah, I test some of my recipes. Anyway, I made the same recipe using chickpea pasta and it was so disgusting. Don't do it. After 10 minutes, add your kamut pasta and mix thoroughly. Let the sauce and the pasta get to know themselves for about 2 minutes, then add to a baking dish. This is highly optional, but you can grate some dried Brazil nuts over it and broil it for about three to five minutes. As I mentioned in the beginning, this recipe is not for everyone, but if you happen to like this recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My name is Manny and I'll see you all next week.